Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about Dixon plan of 1950 which recommended dividing Jammu and Kashmir into two or more parts. Although this plan was proposed long back after the partition of India and Pakistan, as the question arose as to who gets Jammu and Kashmir, it came into news recently with the parliament adopting a bill to make Jammu and Kashmir into two union territories with carving out Ladakh from the rest. On October 31, 2019, Sardar Vallabhai Patel's birthday, Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act was passed. The former state of Jammu and Kashmir was bifurcated into Union Territory of Ladakh and Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. With the coming of the sect, the constitution of Jammu and Kashmir and Ranbir Penal Code ceased to exist which had formed the basis of law of land and governance of Jammu and Kashmir. With this, it's for the first time a state has been reorganized into a union territory. Since it's a union territory, National Investigation Agency and Central Bureau of Investigation, which are Central Probe Agency, can take up investigations on their own. There will be a common high court for the two. The UT of Jammu and Kashmir will have a separate state public service commission. And the UT of Ladakh will be under the ambit of Union Public Service Commission. The UT of Jammu and Kashmir will have an elected assembly like that of Delhi and Puducherry. The strength of this assembly will be increased to 114. The assembly will have a term of five years instead of the previous six years. The Legislative Council of Jammu and Kashmir stands abolished, reducing the number of states having legislative councils to six. Jammu and Kashmir will have five Lok Sabha MPs and four Rajya Sabha MPs. The UT of Ladakh will not have its own legislative assembly like the rest of the UTs. However, it will have one Lok Sabha MP and zero Rajya Sabha MPs and will come under UPS's ambit. Now, coming to the main topic of interest, the Dixon Plan. After the partition of India and Pakistan, the question arose as to who gets Jammu and Kashmir. To decide on this issue, Owen Dixon, an Australian jurist, was chosen by the United Nations to mediate between India and Pakistan on this issue. In this report of September 1950, he suggested a package which did not find acceptance from India. This plan of 1950 went like this.